I feel that we're a club for club people. You know, wouldn't it be nice to have Masters type hospitality, Patrick Peters type hospitality? It has a cost that my club members, my racing members would say, Frank, I'll make my own sandwiches. I just want to go racing. And it's all, to me, it's all about getting those guys and keeping them racing. The size of the club, we have um, nearly a thousand racing members and I don't know, 17, 18 different championships. And we're struggling for track time to accommodate what we've got. And going forward, we like to expand, but with expansion comes the team that we, we have working with us now will have to get bigger. So there's a risk, but you know, we're getting very good vibes from other people who want to join us. We're starting to buy grids in other people's series and our, our, our biggest success story was early part of the year before racing started when our calendar was being planned etc end of the year before our formula 2 series was under threat from peter auto who started their own formula 2 series however um, we tasked ourselves with improving our series uh, by going to better venues and rallying the troops a bit and you know the drivers rallied around us midway through the year Peter Auto announced that Formula 2 was not for them they were going to finish at the end of the year I respect Patrick for that um, we talked about it at Retromobile last year and he said that the customer base that he hoped to attract weren't interested in open wheelers. Where I see Formula 2, it's more clubby. It's the guys with the motorhome and the trailer and their mates and, you know, they pull the car out and set the barbecue up and it has a great camaraderie and it's affordable. And we went from having grids of 15, 16 cars to never having less than 25 right through all the rounds and at the last round at at Dijon a lot of the boys who had run with Patrick during the year they came and ran with us and lots of people came to see me and said where can I get one of those I really want to do this any historic series car that you're running they're not getting any cheaper they are creeping up fine that's nice in one respect you'd never recover the cost of running them but at least you know that you have an asset to sell when you've had enough people are taking it really really seriously and you know um, we, we we pride ourselves in the fact that it is part of us and you know HSCC spawned what is historic Formula One in Europe it came from under our wing we took Euro F2 under our wing when it was going through a bumpy patch and we probably spent money nurturing it and right now I predict that in the coming season it'll be the thing to watch.